Alrighty, so we have a construction update today. So this is not my footage that is on the screen right now. It was sent in to me. Um, so as you can see, this is what looks like the vertical loop section. It actually may even be the zero G roll or even after the vertical loop, because if I remember the vertical loop was already on site, but it looks very loop-ish. So it might actually even be the return um, Immelman. Um, but whatever it is, it was on its way last night, right near Wonderland. So that's awesome. But uh, lots going on at the park today. So um, I filmed this today. So by the time you're watching it, it is tomorrow. Um, so this is filmed yesterday, I should word it. So I am going to be in Niagara Falls all day today with the AI team kind of just like filming stuff, getting some content, doing some fun things together. So yeah, that's awesome. I will not be able to grab a construction update today, even though I know they're going to get a lot done. Um, so as you can see, there is, there is some interesting work going on on Behemoth. I don't know what it is. Um, the same sensor machine is still there at the base of the drop and three maintenance trucks down there with guys just standing around. Uh, I don't know what it is. Um, probably just normal maintenance work. Uh, I could not begin to even speculate if anything is going on. So I'm just going to ignore that. Um, but uh, as you can see, lots of track and supports on site sitting in that storage area. Um, looks awesome. This coaster, again, is scheduled to be done construction track wise by the end of December. Um, so they have lots of work to do, but also not too much work left to do. Again, the rest of the coaster is pretty low to the ground. And as you see with Copperhead Strike, they get low to the ground portions done really quickly. So the remainder of this coaster is probably going to go up um, as one, two, three done. Um, and then we'll start seeing Frontier Canada start to take formation, which will be awesome. Again, every time I fly this drone now, I'm literally like, any signs of Frontier Canada? Please be signs of Frontier Canada. I want to even, like, I want to know what's going on with Frontier Canada. I want to even know just one building, anything, just something. Um, so uh, super excited every time I go up and fly, just looking for any signs of anything. So as you can see, let's get to the track. I feel like I've ignored the track this entire update so far. So as you can see, they are now pulling out of that element. It is um, well above Vortex, but those support beams interact very closely to Vortex. That is going to be awesome. Near misses, adding that extra little element into Vortex and Yukon Striker passing over Vortex. So that's super awesome. I feel like I'm losing my voice while recording this video right now. So that's awesome as well. Uh, maybe by the end of the video, my voice will be completely gone. Um, but yeah, so um, again, some old things that are still there. You have the catwalks for the mid-course break run or th third course break run is what I like to call it. Um, sitting next to Timberwolf Falls next to the Yellow Crane. Um, here's an overall shot of the coaster coming out of the Immelman out of the tunnel. So that's super awesome. Again, they're installing about two pieces of track a day now. Um, there have been some weather conditions that have obviously slowed them down. There's nothing they can do about that. That's just for safety and obviously, um, just ensuring the coaster gets installed properly without any, um, <laughs> rust issues or wind and damage issues so there's nothing they can do about that um but when they do have on days like today they do get a lot done so as you can see support beams were installed in between vortex two pieces of track were installed since my last visit and actually near the end of the video you can see the yellow crane kind of turning over and either going to shut down for the day um, again, night does come early, so I assume they were shutting down for the day or going to install another one or two pieces. I do not see a support beam that would suggest they were going to install any more than that. Um, but tomorrow the weather is actually looking like it's not going to snow, um, which sucks. They're going to be in Niagara Falls. I won't be able to go grab a construction update. And, uh, we haven't figured out the Android process for my drone yet. So, uh, Craig, I will not be able to film a drone update tomorrow, but I will be there Wednesday to film a drone update. Um, regardless, lots going on. More track pieces are sitting there for the zero G roll or negative G roll is what Wonderland's calling it. Um, so that'll probably start to go in tomorrow and Wednesday. Um, maybe by the end of this week, if weather is, uh, forgiving and, uh, not a terrible person. <laughs> uh, they might have the zero G roll done by the end of the week. If not next week, for sure. Again, weather permitting, we are in this weird state in Canada where weather is not cooperative whatsoever, and we can't begin to predict it. Anyways, that's it for the construction update. Nothing on Frontier Canada yet. I don't know what's going on with Behemoth yet. Um, and uh, Yukon Striker is making some pretty awesome advancements uh, as usual. 
Again, we will be reporting on Yukon Striker pretty often, about two to three times uh, a week, depending on weather. Uh, we're aiming for about two days a week um, coverage on Yukon Striker now, just so you guys can see changes happening and we're not over-reporting like we were before, where it's almost daily updates. So now that the lift hill and drop is done, we feel like, you know, two updates a week is suffice. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. And don't forget to join us on Instagram um, and Patreon for uh, some behind the scenes tours. They'll get early access to this video as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.